so my name is Lisa Ventura. I'm the founder of Cybersecurity Unity, which is a global community organization that I set up to help combat the growing cyber threat by fostering greater collaboration within the cybersecurity industry worldwide. Uh, for me, it's all about um, the conversations, the networking and the collaboration that I see um, every year at the International Cyber Expo and also learning from some of the um, top names uh, within our industry and seeing you know a lot of those talks and um, those the, you know, the speakers and the conversations um, and also sort of looking at you know what's new in terms of um, you know sort of products and services and you know who, who's out there so I always look at it from an opportunity of um, connecting with the community in cyber uh, security and having those important conversations um, and also looking at, um, you know, sort of what's new and what's up and coming um, and really seeing those exciting things evolve. Um, well, I'm seeing a lot of uh, themes at the moment generally in the industry and I've, I've also seen um, this at some other events as, as well. AI seems to be a common theme. And I see that a lot of new products and a lot of new um, solutions are all saying that they're powered by AI or that they're driven by AI. How much of that um, is, is true, I'm not sure. Um, I would need to dive into that a bit further. But um, I also see a lot in terms of, you know, will generative AI be used more in terms of, you know, cyber attacks or cyber threats? And I also think that there's going to be a lot more um, cyber attacks along the lines that we've just seen um, within the other London hospitals that have been designed to specifically, you know, not just um, you know, get data breaches that occur, but actually impact people on their day to day lives. We've seen this firsthand throughout that, um, that, that cyber attack, and I think that that's only going to get um, a lot worse and it's definitely something that people need to be um, aware of and I really feel for all of those that were impacted um, through that where they had um, you know, procedures cancelled and you know, all sorts of other things happened. Um, unfortunately I, I see a lot more of those kind of cyber attacks happening. I also see a lot more in terms of um, deep fakes and um, during this week's InfoSec um, lunch hour discussion we touched on um, solutions for um, finding um, deep fake uh, videos, um, but then the question occurs, even if there are tools out there that can actually get those you know, deep fakes and actually identify them, uh, there are some tools out there that say they do that with up to 99% accuracy, but even if you find them, you know, what, what then? Um, you know, how, how can we actually stop these in the first place? So I think that's a really you know, great discussion that I would like to see happen at um, International Cyber Security Expo you know, this, this year. Um, during the discussions I had this week on this topic, one of the things that was brought up was um, maybe there could be some value in these tools with social media companies, but again, um, they identify the deep fakes, you know, what, what then? Ban the users, take them down. I think they're going to be doing that ad infinitum. And I think as it's a key election year, not just with our elections, but also with the USA elections and other elections, it's only going to be you know, a, a bigger problem and one I think the industry, again, needs to collaborate on um, to go some small way of finding some solution to the problem.